Hey, what's happening, everybody? Dan with Hangar 88. And today we are going to talk about how to set up Tailorons, Flapperons with the use of a couple flight modes. Um, in the past, I've never really needed these things. Um, therefore, I didn't really venture off and learn how to do them. Um, but just recently, I, I found the need for them with a small project that I have going on. Um, and upon doing some research online, I found a lot of cool information and good information, um, but really couldn't find a good video on the application in which I needed these for. Um, there was a gentleman on Facebook who had taken a free wing 70 millimeter F-16 with the Arctic camo, and it caught my eye because I have the same plane. And this guy converted the elevators um, into a full flying stab. I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. Seen, seen his process, and he even answered a couple questions I had, and it was a simple enough process that I decided to take it on myself. Um, so with that came the need for a few more complex mixes in my radio. Um, so uh, again, today we're going to be discussing those, the Taylorons, Flapperons, with a few different flight modes, and uh, let's get going. So Taylorons, uh, they use an aileron mix applied to the elevator channels. And then Flapperons usually use a flat mix applied to the aileron channels. But uh, we're going to do something different today. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to give a special shout out and a thank you to Adam Moss on Facebook. He is one of my go-to guys when it comes to FR Sky programming. Um, this guy's a guru. And he's got a lot of good info and, he, and he's always down to chat and, and help people out. So thanks again, Adam Moss. And some of this material here today uh, was brought to you by him. So anyways, let's get started. Now, since I want Taylorons and Flapperons only active under certain conditions, I'll have to create two different flight modes. Well, this will end up giving me a total of three flight modes. Flight mode zero, which is the default flight mode. And that's basically... Um, the, all the mixes that you would create and all the settings that you would create upon building a brand new model, as if you never even plan to use flight modes. So flight mode zero is considered the default flight mode and it's a constant, uh, flight mode one in my case will be my takeoff flaps. And then finally flight mode two will be my landing flaps. So Flight mode one will have slightly shallower flaps and then uh, flight mode two will be a little bit deeper. Now with the 70 millimeter F16, it doesn't have its own uh, flaps. So hence the flapperons. With flapperons, um, you will lose a little bit of roll control because of the distance or the deflection that you'll lose with the, with the ailerons being um, or acting as flaps, I should say. So for that, the, uh, the tailorons are what can compensate and still give you good roll control. Now, a lot of this stuff was presented um, in another video that I watched by the RC Geek, in which he set up his, I believe, 80 millimeter E-Flight F-16 to pretty much accomplish the same. But his video dealt with spectrum and therefore... Um, I could only shave off some of the principles and not so much uh, any of the programming. So anyhow, one of the benefits of having the flight modes is the ability to trim your plane for different scenarios without affecting the trims put in place, say, during you know your maiden flight. It's all good when you have your plane all dialed in and flying tight lines, but you drop those flaps and extend that gear. And now you might find yourself having to ride that elevator you know, to maintain level flight or perhaps, uh, you know, the proper AOA on landing. Now, there are several other ways to counter these effects, like uh, flaps to elevator mix. But unless you're really good at hitting nails on the head, you may find that you still need more nose up or just the opposite. Um, so you'll land your plane and you'll get into the radio and try to make those adjustments to the flap elevator mix and just hope that you won't have to do it again. So um, I've done that in the past. And it was a constant battle. It took three or four flights to really get it dialed in. And that was basically bringing it back down, adjusting the weights to those elevators um, to, make, to make the plane fly nice and level. 
Okay, so with all that being said, if you were to trim out your plane, you have it flying really nice, and you've created this flap to elevator mix, and you're in the air, and, and you go and try to trim that thing using your trim functions, um, those trim inputs will be carried across the, the entire settings of the plane. Um, so when you get back out of that flat, flaps elevator mix, uh, you'll find that your plane may be a little more out of trim than it was uh, from like your maiden flight, per se. So that's where the beauty of the flight modes come in, is flight modes are, are going to enable you to independently trim that mix, but not have it affect the overall trim of the plane from that initial maiden flight, for example. Um, so we're going to create some flight modes, but before we do, um, what you're going to want to do is we're going to have to get into the trim menu and switch on a few things here. So we're going to go into the model menu and guys, I apologize for the hellacious glares. Um, my hangar is my garage. So bear with me here. So trim menu. And we're going to minimize these real quick so you can see it a little better. Um, so basically, we're going to, we're going to um, be working with all of the trims um, and their corresponding control surfaces minus the, the throttle. We're not going to mess with that. So drop down menu for, for the rudder. Um, you'll see that four lines down or three lines down is the independent trim per flight mode. We're going to want to enable that. So turn that on. Same thing for the elevator. We're going to turn that on. Throttle, skip, aileron, on. Um, and there's a cross trim feature here. There's You don't need to do anything with that here. Um, but if you don't know what cross trim is, basically you're able to take your trim three and four, which is your throttle rudder, and switch them over to the other side and vice versa. That way, um, if, for instance, you're needing to trim out, you're having to hold a position because you're way out of trim on, say, your elevator, and you're having to hold back quite a bit, you don't have to take your finger off of the elevator stick. You can actually use the trim on the cross side um, to take care of that for you. But we're not going to go over that today, but that is a cool feature. So, um, okay. So, again, once all the independent trims are enabled we're going to back out of it back out to our model menu and we're going to create some flight modes now so in the flight mode screen um, you'll see that fm0 flight mode 0 is already there that's your default flight mode um, default is going to be all the mixes and settings that you've inputted um, when you created the new model so anything you've done up to this point will be flight mode 0 um, we're going to go ahead and hit the, uh, we'll click it once, and we'll hit add. And for the first flight mode, we're going to name it um, takeoff. Okay, once that's there, active condition. Um, active condition, what, how do you want to engage or enable this flight mode? How do you want to activate it? Um, do you want it on one of your switches? Do you want it on a, um, one of the six buttons down at the bottom? Or do you want it to engage during um, a certain um, incident or condition, which can be used through a logical switch? So um, there's those options there. But for in our case here, um, across all of my models, this is a global switch for me. I call it the global switch. All my models, if they have flaps, this uh, SB switch will be my flap switch across the board. And that's just a, an age and memory thing. So anyways, I'm going to click active condition. And my first flight mode, I want that on the middle position. So you see that SB negative or SB middle position shows up there. And then just click off screen. And then down to the third line, which is fade in. And that's exactly how it sounds. Um, do you want these flaps to snap into place when they drop down? Or do you want them to slowly activate 
thus um, avoiding any adverse effects like ballooning or uh, things like of that nature. So no, we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to activate or input about 2.5 seconds of travel there and then fade out. Um, it's the exact opposite. When you suck those flaps back up, do you want them to suck up slowly or do you want them to just instantly snap back into place? And I prefer snapping back into place. So we're going to leave that at zero. Now trims down here. Um, you see that there's this section of trims. Um, after you've done your testing or your maiden flight uh, in these flight modes, if there was any adjustments you've made with the trims, those will be represented here uh, in the future. So we'll back out of there. And that's our flight mode one. And what we'll want to do here is create another one. So we'll add. And this one will be landing. Got that in one shot. Usually I fat finger those. Okay, active condition again. We're going to want switch all the way back or down. So you see SB down there. Enable that. And then again, fade in 2.5 seconds and no fade out and then nothing down there. So that's that for flight modes. Now those will be available in the active conditions menu as an option for um, the procedure or the, um, or what you're trying to accomplish in your mixture. So you'll be able to choose that. That'll automatically show up. So we're going to want to back out of flight modes into the model menu and go into the mixer menu. And you see here that we have our ailerons are on two separate channels. Our elevators are two separate channels. And then we have our throttle and our rudder. And then down here on the right hand side, you'll see that we have two flight modes, um, the two flight modes plus the default there available to us. Okay. So now we can jump into creating our tailor on mix. Now in my, in my case, I, I only want tailor ons to be activated when I'm using my flapper ons under normal or the default conditions. Um, I don't want tailorons, I want them to be standard full stab elevators, just up and down. Um, so with that being said, we're going to create an ailerons mix and we're going to add that to the last position. And for the name, I'm just going to add a T there and it's going to look funky, but that's okay. Okay. Active condition. There's, um, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, a, as with most things at Far Sky, there are um, a lot of different ways to accomplish the same goal. Um, I've come to find out that if you think about it logically, you can make it work. Um, so one of the ways you can do that is we'll hit the active conditions menu and we'll go here and we'll look for flight modes. Okay. And click that again. And it's going to ask me um, if I want to select the default takeoff or landing flight mode. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit default flight mode and click off screen. Now, as it is right now, tailorons are only active in flight mode zero. You see that the outputs graph disappears when I go into flight mode one or two. Okay. What we want to do there, and again, in my case, while I'm in flight mode zero, I do not want tailorons. So if I highlight the active condition here, click and long press, it's going to give me an option to invert or edge. And we're going to want to hit invert. And then if you've seen what happened to the title, it added the infamous FR Sky exclamation mark. Um, the exclamation mark means tailorons will be active in any position other than flight mode zero. So now if I go down to flight mode one or two, they're active. Flight mode zero, off. So that accomplishes my goal there. Uh, another way that you can do it is go into the active conditions again. And then just go to always on. Click off screen. So now they're always on. Tailorons are there. The graph doesn't disappear. 
Um, the way we achieve that for my scenario where I only wanted in flight modes one and two is go to the flight modes line and deselect default flight mode. And then once I click off the screen, you'll see that it'll disappear. Cool. Or it should have disappeared. Okay. I don't know why it didn't disappear, but moving on. Um, okay, curve. I'm going to add a little bit of expo there. And we'll put in about 25%. And then weights and rates, once I um, get it installed onto the aircraft, um, I'll adjust that weight and rate there as normal. No differential. And, okay, so now we have our channels count. Um, it's, it's at two. And that's what you're going to want because you have to have those elevators split and you have to have those ailerons split to make this work. So um, output one, we're going to tie that to elevator one now do you want to swap channel seven and channel two settings no very crucial step here um if you select yes everything you've done here will automatically be applied to channel two um, and that would be bad because channel two is strictly ailerons and the ailerons are getting the inputs from the radio um, and from your stick so you don't want to mess with that so we're going to hit no and then channel seven isn't used by any mix do you want to clear its name you can do that so yes um, and then the same thing for channel eight we're going to find aileron two and we're going to not swap the settings and we're going to clear its name and that's that so okay so i'll put one we're going to get in there and we're going to change that to elevator and this is very important here. Um, it asks if you want to swap channel one and channel two settings. You do not want to do this. So hit no. And then same thing for output. Output number two, we're going to select elevator number two. And we do not want to swap it. So no. And there you have it. Okay, so we're going to back out, and now we have our tailorons. So you see that um, underneath the flight modes that, uh, I'm sorry, the flight modes that are underneath the output screens, um, the default flight mode is now blacked out, and one and two are there, which is going to allow you to have your tail move. Okay. So now we're going to go in and we're going to create our flaperons mix. Um, so for flaperons, we're going to come in and we're going to choose the offset. And we're going to put that on the last position. So for the first one here, we're going to call this our takeoff. And these will be slightly shallower okay um active conditions we're going to leave that as always on again again you can come in and um select the flight mode or actually let's just do that let's go into flight modes and we want to select our takeoff so now when flight mode one is active, you see that it's highlighted there. Um, it'll activate the takeoff flaps. Um, for this, we'll just go in here and deselect default and landing. And offset, again, you're going to have to figure out where, um, how much deflection you're going to want there. Um, channel counts we're going to want two okay so i'll put one we're going to get in there and we're going to change that to elevator and this is very important here um, it asks if you want to swap channel one and channel two settings 
you do not want to do this. So hit no. And then same thing for output. Output number two, we're going to select elevator number two. And we do not want to swap it. So no. And there you have it. Okay. So we're going to back out. And now we have our Taylor Rons. So you see that um, underneath the flight modes that, uh, I'm sorry, the flight modes that are underneath the output screens, um, the default flight mode is now blacked out and one and two are there, which is going to allow you to have your tail move. Okay. So now we're going to go in and we're going to create our flaperons mix. Um, so for flaperons, we're going to come in and we're going to choose the offset. And we're going to put that on the last position. So for the first one here, we're going to call this our takeoff. And these will be slightly shallower. Okay. Um, active conditions, we're going to leave that as always on again. Again, you can come in and um, select the flight mode. Or actually, let's just do that. Let's go into flight modes. And we want to select our takeoff. So now when flight mode one is active, you see that it's highlighted there. Um, it'll activate the takeoff flaps. Um, for this, we'll just go in here and deselect default and landing. And offset, again, you're going to have to figure out where, um, how much deflection you're going to want there. Um, channel counts, we're going to want two. Okay, and so output one, we're going to find our aileron one. And then output two will be aileron number two. Now, if you watch the output screen, and we've done this correct, when I switch this down into, let me zoom out just a bit. When I bring down my uh, switch into flight mode one, you'll see that over 2.5 seconds, I'll get that 40% of deflection there that I want, and we're good to go. Now, um, once you plug this into your model and one surface maybe move in one way, or if you need to reverse that, you can come back into this mix and, and change that here with the reverse option for that servo. So we're gonna back out. And we have to create our landing flaperons. So we'll click and click on the takeoff line and we're going to hit clone. Now you can go back um, into the mix menu and hit offset again. But if you just hit clone, some of the stuff will be done for you already. So now that it's cloned, we're going to click and long press to get into it. And for name, we're going to, we'll change that to landing. So once that's done, we can go back in and get into our flight modes for active condition and hit landing. Click off there. And again, we'll get into the flight modes and deselect takeoff and select landing. And we'll say for the sake of this video that we're going to go negative. Um, let's do 80% or 90% just to give it a drastic comparison on the outputs um, outputs bar down here. Um, again, two channel counts. So when you cloned it over, it's automatically going to have that in there. It's already going to be set to your channel 1 aileron and your channel 5 aileron, um, which is 1 and 2. So now when we drop the flap switch into landing mode, you'll see that there's an added 
fifty percent um, on top of that forty percent we put in earlier. So back to takeoff and then flight mode zero, nothing there. So that's it. Um, that's all all there is for the programming here. Um, I'm going to go out into um, out into the garage again and get this all wired into the plane and come back and I'll show you the flapperons and tailorons mixes uh, in action. All right, here we go. Got it all hooked up, wired in, had to do some rewiring, but um, everything is working as it should. Got the full flying stab. Um, tailorons in check. I still need to adjust the weights on those, but um, here we go with the flight modes. Flaps half. So activated in flight mode one is the tailorons. And I've reduced those weights there until I actually fly it. So um, I'll be adjusting those after the first couple flights, seeing if there needs to be more. Um, and that's only about 20% flap deflection for the takeoff. Um, actually, on the camera, it looks really steep, but um, I might lighten those up a bit too. And then. Flaps full. About 40% for landing flaps. Again, with the stabilizer control, rear stabilizers. So there it is. Um, flapperons, tailorons, um, mixed in with a couple of flight modes. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down at the bottom. If you've liked what you've seen here, uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe follow the channel. And um, until next time.